Ooh, hello and welcome to an episode of the Kerbal Space Program where we take that's me, that's me, we've got space. So, last time we were having some trouble. Hang on, can I check the tracking station? Oh, I can. Ooh, space. Very loud space sounds. Okay, so you can see that I have this person in orbit, space table four. That was my rocket that I got in space, Kerbal Space Center. But then if you zoom out, right, we've got the moon. And then we've got, is that another planet? Yeah, it's another planetoid, isn't it? Somewhere in this system. No, okay, I've made a boo-boo. Somewhere there's someone else floating around somewhere. Ah, look, there we go. Yeah, look, see? How's, how zoomy in can I go? Ah, oh, there we go, we can zoom in right in. So this person's trapped floating around in space. Come on, zoom in. Maybe I can't zoom in then. Maybe if I double click on it. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> this is my rocket. This is my rocket that's gone out to space. I was trying to make a vehicle. They're terrified. Look, they've got no power. They're just in there in the dark. They're, they're just terrified. I can't eject it. Can't eject the thing. But that's floating around. But I digress. Let's go back to the space station, space center. There we go. And I'll show you what I've been making rockets-wise. We'll do a launch and we'll take it from there. So, is it going to be nighttime in the hangar bay? No, it's daytime. Okay. So, uh, we got... Where did we get to? I built a few vehicles. So, we had our... Obviously, we had our rocket one. <clears throat> Didn't quite work out. I've kind of moved on a little bit from there. So let's show you the other ones. So we got to this one. This is number 10. And you can see it's a small craft inside with a lot of boosters. It was really wobbly. This was pre-discovering struts. So now that I have, things are a lot better. Um, but then I started calling them table space or space tables. Let's have a look. Table space seven. I think that's as advanced as I got. So I started doing things like Where's my other table space? Space tables. Ah, look. Space table five. Space table six. Space table seven. That's the one that went into orbit. Yeah, okay. So table space seven is where I got to. So let's go to the table spaces. So you can see that I was experimenting with this engine module. Because I found these ion, uh, like, inert gas thruster things. These xenon gas thrusters. And I put them on little sprogs. And I had struts. And I've got solar panels. And, like, a nice little nose cone thing. And I had boosters connected together with struts. It was a very stable craft. In fact, I might just show you this one. I'll just launch it and I'll show you... <gasps> excuse me. How I got on with that. I'm pretty pleased with it. But like I said, there's seven editions of this. Why is my pilot... Oh, there's my pilot. Okay, so it's nighttime launch. Let's turn on SAS and we can go. So we got our solid fuel boosters and then they will eject. I think it's a lot of boost to get what is essentially quite a small craft... And where I wanted to go was I was trying to make, like, I went from this to a rocket where I could, like, launch a payload. Oh, I need to start turning. Um, that I could send my payload up um, and drop it off. And it was like a reusable rocket where I could build different modules so that I could start ferrying stuff up into orbit to, to be able to, like, uh, build a station, you know? That's what I want to do. I want to get myself into orbit first, but... The travelling between planets thing seems really difficult to me. Okay, so we're about to lose our boosters. It's a shame it's night time. So let's just jettison those. There we go. So those bits fall off and explode. And then my liquid engines kick in. So let's just ramp those up to max, shall we? So we're off. It's a shame that it's dark. Oh, there we go. Sun's coming up. There we go. Oh, okay. I've made a boo-boo. I've, I've frosted too much. Okay, we've... Catastrophic problem there. Was I going too fast? Okay, so, let's just jettison those. You can't see Dickel anyway, so let's just go back to the... Let's go back to... So, like I said, this was number one of seven. So there's going to be some boo-boos, right? Let's leave that. Don't care about them. I killed the pilot, so what? She, he, they're dead. They're gone. Can I revert that fight? I recover, thank you. Oh, they're alive. Okay. Uh, good. So that was table space one, right? Or space table one in this case. So then if we scroll down... Oh yeah, I tried to make this as well. Where is that? I saw that. Oh, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So, uh, table space. So it started evolving in that... We started evolving and you can see like... I went for more boosters, same module, but more extension boosters. And I tried the nuclear engines. Didn't quite work out. They don't seem too good. Uh, what's this? Uh... Oh, okay. So that's ones they've made. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure navigating this list is going to become a bit of a nightmare. So let's go to table space five. So this is where I started experimenting with this rocket and having like a shell and then building into it a module. 
And then the idea being get that up into orbit and then that spacecraft in that bit can go and do its thing. But the issue is that you have to build from the cockpit first, which I find kind of perplexing. So let's go to table space seven, right? And see if we can't modify that to get it to go where we need it to go. Now the issue I had with this rocket is that I like it, but it didn't have here, it didn't have a, a disconnector, a decoupler. So that was where I went wrong there. Uh, D cup. So if I can, that's a teeny one. Hmm. Now this is the issue I'm having here. Come on, zoom in, buddy. Come on, don't let me down. I guess I've just got to put the decoupler on the bottom of this, like that, and then I've got to somehow reconnect this whole thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now it's got a decoupler. That section, being this craft here, does that have cargo bays? No, it's all liquid fuel. Monopropeller, liquid fuel. Okay. But it has no engine, does it? This 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 vehicle here has no engine. And I'd really like to be able to import it in and attach it to there. And then it goes up into the rocket. But it's difficult. I'm having trouble with it. I will be honest with you. I am having a little bit of trouble. So let's go let's go to the monopropellant engines, right? Uh they're not the only ones that are available. There are other ones. Where are they? These ones. Yeah, that uses monopropellant as well. So let's just go ahead and hook these up. Uh, like so. Oh, the snap's not on, that's why. There we go. So we just add on these for this bit. So I can get some, uh, some kind of control going on. And what I think I will also do is just move this bit off for a second and whack on one of those incline wheels. Should I put a large wheel on? I mean, it's a spacecraft, isn't it? So let's have one like that on, fine, okay. But what I do need is some of those lovely little engines. And what I was thinking of having is like, oh look, oh, there we go. That's exactly what I need. We can have little, little struts. Yeah, let's do those. Let's have those on like that, right? So I'll do that, put two on there, and then we'll whack on like some little tanks. Where's the the little the little xenon tanks? Large holding tank. Ooh, no 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 no. Let's type in xenon instead. I love this stuff. Okay, so xenon container. There we go. Oh, it's a bit mahusive. Isn't there a smaller one? Yeah, there, but it won't snap to that. Hmm. We've got to try and get it to, i got to rotate it, haven't I? There we go. So that's still in the little safety, safety nugget capsule, but the engines will be facing the wrong way, won't they? I need them to face that way. Oh, shite, how can I do this? Hmm. Let's get rid of that. Delete that, go away, thank you. You should just stay mm, it's toughy isn't it hmm i want it to add, attach like that but the other ones did last time they let me attach like that let's try just get rid of that get rid of that how did i manage it i used these things but my concern hang on a second this will work actually if i do that and then i attach the tanks to the ends, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, am I right? I think I am right. Look, there we go. And then we can have our Xenon engines on the end, there. Yeah, there we go. And just to make it really super awesome looking, I'm gonna go to the struts and I'm gonna put on uh, some struts here. I need to use two hands for this. <laughs> so I'll do that and I'll just put a strut on like that. Huh? Yeah, look at that. I didn't know my engines are like that, but I need to connect it. So I need to go to fuel cables because they won't use the main monopropellant fuel line. But I just need to make sure where that. Oh, no, 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 no. What did I just do? Go back on. Monopropellant. Okay, so we go fuel cable and then we go like that. Hmm. Okay, so it's going around. Zoom out a bit, please. Let's just make sure that this is right. 
So it will just stagger it, this wheel. So I'll do that. Put my fuel cables on. Two of them are wrong. This one's wrong. Let's just change that. Go away. And I'll do I'll just do them individually. I'll do them individually, that's what I'll do. So let's take that back to this. And then we can go like that. And then we can just do the same here. If I hold shift, will it let me do more than one? Is that is that how it is? No, I still have to click it. Do oh, I need a frame of reference, that's what I need. Maybe I should just whack it on like that. Just put the... No, you clearly don't like that. Okay, we'll put it on like that. I'll use that line there as my frame of reference just to do it, like eyeball it. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Right, okay, so it doesn't look perfect. So the fuel line is so that the big tank connects to the little tank and I can still use those engines. That's all good. So I've got my little space engines there. Electric... Electricity. This, this this vehicle has no battery power currently. So let's go uh, batteries. Hmm. Amount, 100 electrical charge. 400 electrical charge? I think I'm going to go for 400. We can have loads of these though. I'm just going to whack these further down the body. I'm just going to go for like that many. Just to try and to be able to survive. I want... Big ass solar panels as well. Where are we? Gigantor solar array. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Can I put one like that? Is there one on the bottom as well? There is. I mean, that feels that feels like a spacecraft. I've got a lot of fuel. I've got those engines, maneuvering thrusters. That I feel could probably cruise out into space, right? I am a little bit concerned about these engines being a bit baubles, though. I think maybe some slightly larger engines on this payload. Oh, what are these? Oh, they look really spacey, don't they? That, yeah, that's the official sound of space, by the way, that I just made there. The, the little... Let's put that on like that. Let's just put a little communications dish on. Why not? Let's just do that. Have a little satellite dish. <laughs> Why not? Why the frig not? Now I'm I want to get some side side sideways engines on as well. So let's go to decouplers, right? And let's get on some of these hydraulic manifolds. I'm not so sure about those. They stick out. These ones, right? Let's get two of these on. And if I do that, right? Can I get a couple of extra engines on? I think I can. Why is it done? F oh, it's done four. That's not what I wanted. I just want the two. Don't switch to four when I only want two. That's balls. Why does it do that? Why do I switch it from two? Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, you go away. So this will be space table eight. <laughs> right, let's check my structures and stuff. Save. So... I'm going to have to zoom out for this one. It's a lot of rocket to get that spaceship up, I'll be honest with you. Uh, engine, main engine start, and booster start as well. That decoupler should not be in there with that decoupler. That decouples the rockets, then the liquid fuel engine can continue to burn. That is the shell, and then my mini engines, but they also need to be separate. So shell goes in there. Ah, no, so it's that's the wrong way around. So it goes, shell pops off, decouples, little engine start. There we go. That's good. Save it. Let's, let's fly. Launch. We're here at uh, Cape Canaveral, Kerbal Canaveral, with Space Table 7, ready for launch. We're attempting to get some more pilots into space, not only to rescue the people who are trapped out there in space. Can I fast forward this to daytime? Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I definitely can. Okay, cool. Much better to be in during daytime. I mean, that's that looks like a rocket to me. I'll be honest. Right. Stabilizing. Three, two, one. Go for launch. Woo! And we want to throttle up a little bit. There we go. I don't want to use all my liquid thrust. Ah, oh, we are. Go for launch. That is definitely a rocket. I feel like I'm progressing with my knowledge of rocket technology. I've got these solid fuel boosters attached to my struts as well. So what I'll do is I'll disengage it and throttle up. 
And as a result, I will fly out of the decoupling stage without exploding. Now I do need to start executing a turn. <laughs> Look at the size of this friggin' rocket, man. Oh, it's so good. So good. I'm I'm not exactly flying, traveling very fast, so I might throttle up a little bit. I've got to be careful with this air pressure because I hit what's called max Q, and I know that's when the most strain is exerted on the craft itself. But so far, so good. My turn is a little bit. I don't think my turn is super good. I think I need to, because the, the turn is to like be more econo economical on fuel. God, I'm having trouble talking. Right, we got the booster stage now. We got a problem here. So. Let's boost this, launch this section off, throttle up, and it slides off like take it off a sock. There we go, there it goes. Still getting a little bit hot there on the old. I might dial it back again a little bit on the thrust. I don't wanna, you know, I don't potentially wanna get, okay, we're good. Throttle back up again. We're through the atmosphere. Loads of fuel left, and I'm in space. Let's have a look at the, of my orbit okay cut thrust we don't want to go much higher than that because that is where space table 4 is and I want to be in orbit relatively near to their position so what I'll do is I'll wait till I get to this intercees and then I'll thrust along the prograde and then that will get me into position so I just want to speed up time slightly until I hit that intersecting point there that point there or maybe just before it actually come on table you got this buddy right stop there prograde prograde let's just make sure that i am turning i am turning slowly i mean it's an awful lot of rocket to turn and i'll use these main engines what what's left in them oh, i'm just not turning am i Oh no, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Prograde. Retrograde? Prograde? You're not just not turning. Turn! Oh no, we've got, a, we've got ourselves a problem. We've got a problem. I've passed that point. I'm going to have to thrust and try it. Let's go. Where are we going? What direction? We're going more into, more out into orbit. Okay. We're not in orbit though, but you know, what can you do? Oh no. No! Okay, well, I'm just going to use the fuel and we'll figure out the rest some other point. <laughs> right, engines cut out. Now to jettison the outer shell. <laughs> oh man, I'm never going to get tired of seeing that. So we've got our spaceship. So the next stage should decouple me from this body. And it did, ever so slowly. Yes, where's all the sunlight, man? It's so dark. Space is dark. Why is space so dark? So now I've got my little engines. But I can also activate my solar arrays, my gi gigantors. And this one, please. There we go. So I'll be generating power. Oh, they're beautiful. I feel like a sailing. I feel like a space sailing ship. Oh, okay, cool. All right, they're done. Now, I need to see if I will move towards the prograde. Oh, almost almost had a collision there. Okay. Retrograde, prograde. Or is it not that? Hmm. Oh, it's because I'm not at the top of my AP. That's why it seems weird. I remember. So let's speed up time until I get to that point and then I'll burn and then that should make me orbit ah oh, see look table the other space table's just past me now you can see it's going around the planet I'm pointing with my finger not the cursor that that thing <laughs> you can't see it when I point it at the screen with my finger I gotta remember that gotta be professional about these things and that looks good enough for me let's just zoom back in so the rocket body has long since left, but I am still here in my beautiful spaceship. Let's now use my little engines and burn. So we're going to go for a full burn with four of the engines. They're incredibly economical, so I'm told. 
And there we go. I mean, I'm blasting propellant all over the back of my ship, which is a little bit of an issue. I mean, we just won't worry about that too much. I wish I could zoom, look around my ship a little bit more. Okay. So, spaceship is now burning in that direction. Can you have lights on your spaceships? I know that's like a really basic thing, but I feel like... I want lights. Transmit data. Hey! Transmit more data. You're welcome. Is that influencing my orbits in any way? That's max speed on these engines, so the only way we're going to figure this out is if I speed up time. It has not! It has failed! Oh no! 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 Those engines are so weak! Oh my days! We have a massive problem here. Space Table 8 is exploding! Oh god, no! I'm coming down like a meteorite. Look how much fuel I have in my engines. But yet they have no oomph whatsoever. And I exploded. So long, pilot. Yours was a brave... Yours was a brave, brave attempt. But unfortunately, you done died. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Plenty more pilots where they come from. <laughs> Space Center. <laughs> just, just... Just exploding people, just as you do. I I thought those engines would have been enough, but evidently they have not been enough. Let's just do... Uh. What the hell is that? That doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> Whatever that was. It's some kind of PDF reader I think I, I got. Oh, that's definitely what it is. God dang it. It's so full of friggin' viruses and spyware, man. Right, so these engines, not very good. But... I feel like we can just take the whole segment and move it down here to the back and just have more of them. Like if I just have... See, it only likes four, but they're the wrong way round. But if I rotate them... Um, like that, and then like that. Yeah, there we go. If I rotate them this way instead and have them at the back, like that, right? Yeah? Oh, the struts are still attached, but they look rubbish that way. So I'm just going to put them there and go like that. Onto the battery, fine. So, I want some more of these. Um, or a different kind of engine as well. And I think I'm going to go for a different kind of engine uh, in the form of the structural things, these things. I'm going to have like or should I have radial decouplers and have liquid engines that I can then jump ping off, can't I? Yeah, maybe I'll have that. Because, like, that's still well within the shell. These shells are massive. Liquid fuel tank. Let's see. Is that still in the shell? It is, isn't it? No, it's not. It's nowhere near still in the shell. But, nail desperandum, we can figure that out. Let's just go here and go to the decouplers and stick with these ones because they're more compact. And then put the fuel tanks on there. Oh, for friggin' no, I don't. Piss off already. Jeez, Louise, come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for that little outburst. Do apologize. These are my fuel tanks, which I need to hook back up. So let's just do... Um, I have to do these individually again, don't I? Um, I'm just going to connect them like that. Oh, screw it. I can't do that, can I? I've got to go back to one. Ah, oh, you pisser. Does control Z help me? D it did help me. Oh, bless you. <laughs> right. Stop getting ahead of yourself, Table. You are far too incompetent to operate under this level of complexity. Let's put that there. Let's have another one. I'm going to have to redo all of them. That's not how you spell fuel. Right. That one like that. Just anywhere. They're just fuel lines. They're not going to compromise the integrity of my craft if I get them a little bit wrong. I would like them to be a little bit more... Hello? Uh, hello? Thank you, you piece of crud. Right, fuel lines on, engines on. I've got these liquid fuel boosters here. Now these cables I can make symmetrical because they will go on in, a, in an unusual turn of events. See, look, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected. I might even put on another tank because there's room under here for more 
engine, I think, if they will let me attach them. If you would let me attach. I kind of feel like you should, but you're not going to, are you? Oh, you will let me put them there. Cool. Now we need a little little engine, a little eco e economical engine. Now, apparently, the ISP is the... Uh, like efficiency of the engine but I don't see it saying ISP anywhere there because that's not a space engine Rhino liquid fueled engine let's just go for the swivel where's that little little engine designed for being in space the poodle <laughs> I want a poodle let's have oh the poodle engines are massive dang it they're also massive Give me a little engine. Oh, wait. Terrier, that's the one I mean. Yeah, we have terriers. There we go. Terrier engines. I kind of feel like I want some kind of nose cone. Just, you know, because it looks cool. Even though it's in space and I don't need them. Should I just have the avionics hubs? No. I mean, they do look more spacey. Nope. All right. Let's just go with these. Fine. Oh, they're moosive. These ones? Will you let me use these ones? Yes, but that's... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that's not quite right, is it? <laughs> Those nose cones are not in position. Uh, let's take that to that. And if I click on one... This is more hassle than it's worth. Screw you, buddy. Nose cones, you can get out of here. Let's just go with these ones. No, they're just... <laughs> these ones. Something! Come on! Oh wait, hang on. I gotta do that. <laughs> Nose cones. And then let's put these on the ends. There we go. An excessive amount of nose coneage there. What's gonna happen with these fuel cables when I decouple this sucker? I just don't know. But that is... That's definitely a spaceship, isn't it? I do feel that the prograde retrograde thing was a little bit of an issue. And I think I can solve that by... If I take these engines off, right? And I put in the stabilizing wheels. Uh, what are they called? The spinny... The incline stabilizers. If I put those in... Is there not a massive, massive one? If I put that there, right? Does that mean fuel will still, still go through? I just don't know. And I'm a bit concerned that it won't. Only one way to find out, isn't there? Okay, this will be table space nine. Let's just check my stages. Ah, oh, no, look. It's outside of the cone. I don't know how that's going to affect it. Good job I've got the nose cones on, because it adds to the aerodynamics. <laughs> right, okay. Main booster, liquid engine, and boosters there. Decouple boosters. That's the... Okay, so that's the liquid fueled engines. Yeah, fine. But those two shouldn't be together. That should go there. So, shell ejects. Engine start. No. We need another one in between there. Hello? Why is it no longer letting me. Oh, there we go. Four engines. No, we need that bit to decouple first. Decouple. Larger engines fire. Decouple them. Little piddly poo engines once you're out in space doing your thing. Agreed? Yeah? I think we're good. Save. Now, what was the issue I had? Oh, yeah, the inclined stabilizers. Let's just hope that that will work and fuel will transfer fuel. And if it doesn't, we'll just change it. Oh, okay. That's a little bit of a problem. So let's just do that. Uh... I don't know why it's now saying that. Let's connect that again. The vessel has no remote controlled or manned command modules. It friggin' does, because it's right here. It's right there. That's my command module, right there. That's my command module, right there. It's a cockpit. Why is that not a module? It's right here, you piece of crap. Why why does the table space 8 not work, but table space 9 does? What's the issue? Is it down here? Is there a connection issue down here? 
Is this something to do with these things? Is that the problem? I think that's the problem. Let's move those up a bit. Like that. Why? Why is that a problem now? Maybe if I take off everything like that and then reconnect everything like that and then save it and launch it. Shit! Why is that now a thing? There's a... Oh, I don't know what I've done. What have I done wrong? I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Uh, revert flight to assembly. The only thing I can think of now is if I take off everything and delete this. Right now, it's gone red. Okay, and if I just whack it back on, I whack that back on to there. No, I whack this onto there. Please work. Please don't go berserk on me. Please just work. Please just connect. Oh, you're friggin' kidding me with this. Oh, yes. Save. Launch. Oh, what is that? What is that? I don't understand what that is. Why doesn't that let me launch? What have I changed? Let's load number eight. What have I changed from there to here? That's causing this. I am confusion. Table space, eight, load. Launch. Okay, so clearly there is some kind of issue with what I've done. And I guess I will just have to add more command modules. So let's load table space nine and add some controlly stuff. Yeah? So, pods. Command pod. Let's just uh, take off that nose. Delete that. Put the command pod. Oh, God. Honestly, what the frig is going on? I thought I had it. If I can't even launch the thing, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> Load. Okay, you say you're green, right? You say you're green. Is it these things? No, because they weren't on the previous one. Has no remote controlled or manned command modules. It absolutely definitely does. It's because I removed that and put that back on, isn't it? What have I done wrong here? Is the decoupler still in there? Reaction wheel. There is a decoupler there. Hmm. Oh, poopies. I'm really not sure what I can do with this. Reaction wheels normal, configuration vessel naming, top of floor. Could it be if I let's take another module, put that on, and then take this and whack it onto that? No, I'm really confused, guys. Um, external command seat. What is that? A probe. Let's whack that on. Oh, it's massive. Let's put a little one on. Just attach that on. Hmm. I am completely stumped as to why this will not launch. Completely, absolutely completely stumped. I don't know why... I just don't know why. 
Theron. Could it be the nose cone? Could it be the nose cone that's the issue? Could it be that the nose cone is going through there? No, because it goes onto the launch pad. Hmm. I'm going to save this. I'm going to leave to main menu. And I'm going to go back into the game in case it's a glitch. <laughs> Which I know it isn't. Oh, no. I'm so proud of my rocket. I really want it to go. Please just go into space. Oh, catastrophic. Come on, main menu. Don't don't let me down. Let just tell me it's gonna be alright. Please tell me. Um When you're ready, resume saved. Sandbox mode. <laughs> I'm a funny. <laughs> Come on, rocket! Do your friggin' thing, space! Space! I want to go to space! Please let me go to space. Is there no astronaut in there? Could that be it? Uh open. Table space nine. This should be an easier way to search through these saves, I reckon. Table space nine. Load. There we go. And launch. <laughs> what is that? What is that problem? This vessel has no remote controlled or manned command modules. What is that if not a command module? Could it be that I'm not... I'm sticking in the ground at the bottom? No. <coughs> Ship. Accept. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I'm really friggin' stumped, guys. Okay, so that rocket is now red, right? Like, just full-blown, doesn't like anything, can't even look around it. It's, like, completely messed up. Oh, guys. I'm frigging gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. I don't know... I don't know why I can't launch. I'm so pleased with the rocket. <laughs> Have I got to assign an astronaut, maybe? I've never had to assign one before. Maybe something messed up here. Look how it's connecting to the different points. Maybe something's gone wrong there. Lander can. Cockpit. Command pod. I mean, if I did that. And then it. But, okay, so look. I get the stages here, right? I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I don't know what this means. I'm so sorry. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm absolutely gutted that I don't know what that is. I'm so sorry. I was so pleased with the rocket as well. I just don't know what that, that means. I assume that there's something very simple that I need to do. I'm sorry. At least we got the one rocket into space. Oh, absolutely gutted. Look at this thing. Oh, that is absolutely poopies. No crew control. Yeah, I know there's no... Maybe... Hmm... I hate admitting defeat on these things. Let's revert flight. Now, I killed my last astronaut. I killed them. So, I assume maybe I just need to put a pilot in. I reckon I just need to put a pilot in, and that's what's confusing me. So, let's go to the space center. And assign an astronaut. Astronaut complex. Let's just do that, right? And then go back to here. Oh, could this be it? Could this be it? <laughs> now that I've got astronauts, reaction wheels, normal, configure vessel naming, blah, 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 blah. Oh! 
<laughs> oh god! Put an astronaut in it. Crew. That's it, isn't it? Save. Yes! 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 That's it! Oh! <laughs> I just didn't have any crew in it. It's because I killed the last crew! Right, Lutton Kerman and Ag Agald Kerman. Oh, I'm so pleased with myself right now. Let's just check our stages. Boosters, decouplers, main engine. They should be in the same one. Uh, module pop. No, that's the wrong order. We need another one. We need to decouple that first. And then... No, we don't. We eggshell, decouple... Larger engines, decouple them, little piddly poo engines. Yes! Yes! Here we go! We're table space one. That's now looking like a serious rocket. Here we go. Let's go. Stabilize assist on. And we are go for launch. We are off. Throttling up. Two thirds throttle. That seems reasonable. And we are off. At 80 meters per second, I'm pretty sure I need to start the rocket turn. Oh, man. That's 100 meters per second. That's not right. Let's just start the turn. Ah, oh, man. It's a lot of rocket to get up into orbit, though. It is definitely a lot of rocket. Without those extra boosters, I just don't think it would get there. Okay, now we're starting to feel some wind resistance on the rocket. As long as it doesn't turn red, I won't throttle, throttle down. I freaking love my rocket, man. I'm so pleased with this thing. This is hopefully going to be my friggin' space bus. My bus into space that I can use to just transport various inside modules. So the idea is that I can just in, inter, like have the rocket, connect in a module that I can use, and go from there. That's what the goal. I should turn a little bit more. Right, we're coming up for separation. Feeling a little bit of heat there. And off they go. Success. Oh, I love that. That does not get old for me. We're just coming through the rest of the atmosphere now. Little bit of heat, nothing major. Let's keep going. I think I will throttle up in a moment. Yes, I will. I'm going to go to full throttle now and burn out all of that fuel. Let's have a look on the map. Ah, I need to cut out when that matches this. That's what I need to do. So let's get ready on control. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And cut throttle. So close. Good enough. Absolutely good enough. Yes. You beautiful rocket. I've even got some fuel left in my main booster as well. Oh, I'm so happy that it was the siding crew. I thought my mind was going to melt. I really did. Okay. So we need to set ourselves to prograde. So that will turn when we reach the top of our arc. Let's just speed up time ever so slightly. Okay, I'll, I'll risk free. Let's have a look where the ship is. Okay, so it's not currently on the other side of the planet. But I can go and see them. That's fine. That's not an issue. So let's just... Uh, let's just stop there. Now I think I'm going to... No, let's go a little bit more. So at this point, I'm going to start my burn. So that is widening. Yeah, that's good. I say we just use all of the thrust at this point. No, there's loads in the engine. There's absolutely loads. Okay, let's throttle back. And let's continue along our orbital path a little bit more until we hit the AP, which is called the Apu Posso 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 Plus 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 Plus. <laughs> and there we go. Let's just thrust now. Slow down time, and we're going to thrust. Throttle up. And I'm willing to burn through all my fuel to make this orbital pattern. Okay, right. Engine's out. Fuel gone. Throttle back. Let's just send that section. Okay, so the shell's going to fly off now. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> it works! Now we jettison that section and now we start these engines let's just throttle up ever so slightly there we go oh there we go we're flying away with my little terrier engines oh adorable now hopefully this fuel will last me ages 
How's that doing for my orbit? Let's throttle up. So, they're not very powerful. They're more powerful than these friggin' ion gas engines. Let's have a look at my fuel consumption. Okay, it's not the best. Oh, I feel confident with my little module. Let's extend my solar panels. I want like spinny bits as well, but I haven't got those. Where's my other solar panel? It's there, isn't it? Extend solar panel. Am I in orbit yet? No. Keep burning table, keep burning the engines. I've friggin' figured this out, haven't I? Oh, you beautiful spaceship. You beautiful, beautiful spaceship. I can't believe I've made you. I can't believe it. I'm so pleased with you. I even like this bit at the back. It feels like it's like an artificial gravity rotatory bit, you know? So friggin' pleased with you. How's my orbit going? It's going really well. Fuel consumption, not even half empty. That's good. Let's just transmit some data. These Terrier engines, man, they're good. I have to say, they're really good for establishing orbit. I'm so close. And look at the distance in orbit. Now, the issue I have is that I don't know if I can slow my orbit or shrink my orbit. I think I can when I get to the PE thing. The Petrograde. Petro Petroposis. Right, let's, um, let's stop my orbit there. Okay, so we are very close to being in orbital sync. Let's speed up time a little bit and see if we can't get ourselves around to the PE thing and see if I can't squirt that in. Wait, what I can do, you see our orbits, right? You see they're like, I'm slightly below. I think if I go to the n radio out, radio in, radio in. If I go normal and I do a little bit of a thrust, I think that will go up or down, I think. Let's give it a go. That's going down. Okay, so we need to go to anti-normal. So if I go to anti-normal, and then once that turns around, I'll give it a squirt on the old engines. And then that should sync up a little better. Okay, so at this point we will sort of, mm, yeah, it's not quite the same as it. So let's try radial in. Okay, so we hit that and I think that will allow me to shrink my orbit a little bit. Let's just give it a little thrust. I can't even see what that's doing. Oh, and I've just spent my thrust, fine. That's okay. Let's speed up time a little bit because I want to see what happens with our orbits because if that thing's orbiting faster than I am. Oh, is it moving towards me? Ever so slowly is. Oh my days, it ever so slowly is. Okay, so let us, if I can just see it, I'll be really pleased. Let's just jettison my engines, right? I've still got fuel. Why did my engines cut out? Let's, uh... Let's give it another square on the old engines. Ah, you know what that is? Yeah, I have liquid fuel in my tanks, but these fuel lines are not connected properly. That's what's happened. That's why I can't use any more fuel. So let's just, uh, let's just uh, retract the solar panels like so. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it. Right, and then we're going to jettison the engines. There we go, there they go. Off they go. And then I will activate my other engines, my little engines. So my little blue engines are now activated. Let's just throttle up. Yeah. That looks like a spaceship, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Lovely. Right, let's see what that's doing for my... Oh, electrical charge is getting eaten up really quickly. Extend my solar panels. I need them. Solar panels, come on. I need you to extend. It's really hard for me to click and do these bits when it's so dark. Ship, ship, ship lights. I need ship lights. Right, let's have a look now. Let's have a see. Let's just... Uh... 
I'm pretty sure it's going to come past me. Is it gaining? It, it feels like it's gaining. <gasps> no way! Okay, so I'm here. 15 kilometers. Debris, debris. It had to be on the dark side, didn't it? It had to be on the friggin' dark side of the planet, didn't it? Oh, poo. Why is there no beacon? I'm going to look at it. Switch to. Here it is! That's a very primitive old rocket. Why did it have to be on the dark side of the moon? <laughs> Why? Okay. I think that's good enough, right? Because they are within... Well, let's speed up time so we can get on the light side. They're going to get even closer at this part of their orbit. Slow down, slow down. Oi, 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 stop. You fool. So this is my primitive early rocket. <laughs> it's the triple engine one that I was talking about. Now let's switch to the other one and see if I can... S so it's behind me. Okay, let's have a look behind. Why have I got no like... Oh, 83... That's it, isn't it? That's the other one, 87 kilometers. So if I now switch to that and then find the other one... And then it should say 87 kilometers away. Oh, it is! That's the closest I've ever got two objects to each other in space. I'm friggin' amazed. I can now, with that rocket, get ships into orbit, get them into roughly the same orbit as the other object. I still need to figure out the fine tuning things, but that is definitely in orbit. Oh, man. Oh, I've done it again. I clicked off screen. Man, that is amazing. I'm, and look, I've got the fuel in the in the rubbish engines. So now what I need to do is start grappling these sections together with grabbers and forming some kind of space station. But if I can modify this shuttle with a cargo bay, I could carry satellites. I could carry other stuff. Oh, I think progress made, man. Let me know in the comments what you think. How I would especially like to know how you adjust fine adjust to that orbit so that I can breach that last few kilometers like when the orbits are near how do I thrust over to them like with little do I just look at them and go I, I doubt that there must be a better way but there's definitely a way where I can grab these ships in the meantime I might even experiment with getting a larger payload in space but for now we're pretty good. Ivy Table, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. What a result. Oh, I'm so pleased I need to put pilots in there and that I figured it out. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Woo-woo-woo. <laughs>